Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Nicole. You know, I just wanted to keep going on with this little thing I had with the Nicole's vlog. Just a little recap. Um, you know, for the last three years, because it's been three years since I did a video, I've been a mom. I have two kids now. My son is seven, my daughter's two. I basically was working from home and then I started uh, working two months postpartum in an office and so, you know, things just started growing from there. I kind of thought to myself, I wanted to kind of take a little break. I needed to regain myself mentally, emotionally, and uh, physically. I kind of felt like I was um, not losing myself, but I just needed to dedicate time to myself. It's been a while. And so I took a little time. It's been about two months. I took some time and um, I've just been trying to focus on myself you know you save a little bit of coins and you know you focus on yourself I think that women mothers should always have time to just get, reconnect with themselves and you know it was time for me I felt like it, it, it was a while it was it was some time that I didn't take care of my hair it was some time that I didn't take care of my teeth so it's just a lot of things um you guys are probably wondering why she's speaking a little funny well my lips are a little swollen still I just had some lip filler done about two days ago um they look pretty nice i love them i gotta get my eyebrows done and so i look exhausted and i have to get a refill of my lashes and i'm telling you guys i'm doing this video because i love you guys i just wanted to tell you guys you know now what i do for a living i'm a stay-at-home mom i'm trying to get this whole user-generated content thing going and i kind of also just wanted to wanted to give you guys a little view on what i do every day and where i go you know i'm gonna be traveling a little more often and so what i do at home i've been doing nothing but great you guys have probably been thinking like what has she been up to i've been doing great but today's video is about porcelain veneers i went to cali colombia to dr mario montoya and it was amazing it was in valle del cauca and like let me just tell you guys i had an amazing time just in general but we'll get to that so let's start with the flights it took me about three flights to get there i mean apparently there's no direct flights from new york city jfk but you can take a flight that's laid over so you'll be going from either bogota or you go to panama city i booked my flight to go to medellin and then to cali avianca was delayed me having to take that flight a little later delayed the next flight so the next flight was just literally getting to cali while i had to take the the next flight right when i got off that flight i checked my itinerary and i was like what's going on so they replaced the flights i had to take two more flights so i had to take one to medellin and from medellin from bogota to cali Mija. Yo cogí un paseo. I mean, I took a whole trip. It was like a little, like, you know, you saw the views of the whole, like, Colombia. I mean, not the whole Colombia, but, like, it was it was most of Colombia. You guys have probably seen the craziness of New York City. I'm over here, like, on first half, waiting for my sister. She's at an appointment. And there's just, like, a bunch of college students, people jogging, like, delivery men. So just pay attention. We got there. Amazing. The best thing ever. Hi. Hello. We were assigned a driver. I met my driver, Orlando. He's such a sweetheart. So coming back, I just had to take two flights. I just took the one from uh, Medellin. I had to take from Cali to Medellin and then from Medellin to JFK. Uh, so yeah, this is also a city where you're parked and your car gets hit and it happens to be that I'm in my car. So I'm just like, he showed us all around town. He was the best, uh, you know, thing that could ever happen to us in Colombia. He was able to just let us know where the hot points are of like, you know, you shouldn't wear any jewelry here. You're protected here. Or like, you know, let, let me get this for them. Let me get that for them. Like he knew how to make us feel welcomed and accommodated. Like everywhere we went, every time we had something to eat. I got to do my hair, y'all. It's time. Mm -hmm. I ended up renting an airbnb because i kind of felt that you know i wanted my own privacy i didn't think that being in a hotel room i was gonna have that you know comfort and come in and out whenever i want my partner if he wants to 
have a little smoke he can go outside in the balcony or something i also thought there isn't any beaches around there and there aren't much pools there are but i, I like private pools so i kind of thought to myself okay so let me look into Airbnbs. So when I looked into Airbnbs, I found an Airbnb that was amazing, beautiful. And, you know, all I could give is good reviews, always, always. But that's because I did my research all the time. You know, one thing I can tell you guys is do your research. I did my research before. It was the best thing I could do because they had a jacuzzi. They had a, um, a workout room. They, they had a swimming pool on the rooftop. If you want to go and, like, have a little bar and lounge. You know, I was just, like, having a blast. I had a little photo shoot. I didn't even use the parking space in the parking lot because I had my own driver. Got some stuff I'm unpacking there. For the bathroom. Okay, great. Have some stuff hung up. Straight to day one. Day one was just them introducing me to the lab. Um, you know, the doctor was talking to me about how I wanted my teeth, like shape, size, and color. There's like BL1, BL2, and BL3. Más blanco, este es un tono intermedio y este que sinceramente pocos <ríe> vienen por este son de los, de los más naturales. Quiero el BL1. And so I picked BL1. Don't worry, I'm going to show you guys my teeth. I'm so ready. I can't wait. He was just showing me the latest technology. Okay, so I got x rays done and I spoke to the doctor. So we're off to the lab. This way. And uh, we just did a little clip, we did a little video of the before. Once we started discussing the price and everything, so now everything's paid for. This is the lab. Okay, here we go. Que tengo que poner en mi historia. Él es el segundo doctor en Latinoamérica, ¿verdad? Que tiene esta máquina. He's like the only doctor that has that um, in La in Latin America that has that type of device. Uh, it's just like it's so impressing. He also started talking about how if I wanted to get some gum contouring and the gum cleaning and if I had any root canals, if I had any cavities. And so we were just talking down, you know, to prices. And so I think it ended up being uh, 8700 you know, due to me renting an Airbnb, I was able to get a discount for $200. And so 
the deposit of $500, it was $700, so I ended up paying $8,000. Uh, I was able to include the gum contouring, root canal, cavities, porcelain veneers. It was just like amazing because I ended up getting a deal in the first place. It was uh, about $7,800 due to the holidays. I had to take that opportunity. And you know what's crazy? I first thought to get resin. I thought to get resin veneers and I told myself, you know what, I don't want to be dealing with the cracks. I don't want to be running back. Convince myself, go for porcelain veneers. It's going to be the best thing ever. You're not going to regret it. It's going to be a longer lifespan. It's not going to get yellow within the time. It won't crack. It was just a lot of pros that I was like, uh. and I kind of, you know, to be honest, my teeth were decaying. You know, if you drink a lot of soda, if you don't floss more than once a day, if you don't brush more than twice a day, apparently three times is the new wave. Uh, <laughs> these things could happen to your teeth. And everyone knows that I was a big smoker. And apparently, yes, I am stopping in two days because I have to do a procedure real soon. And I, I just can't. I just can't be smoking. We started talking about how they're only going to shave down a little bit. They're not going to be shaving down a lot. Like everyone talks about baby shark teeth, baby shark teeth, like baby shark teeth. No, they only literally shaved down just a teeny bit. Like it was literally just to get the veneers to slide right on, like on the sides and on the front, just to like get that same shape and size of your teeth. I made sure that I walked out of there speaking the same way I came in here. <laughs> day two, you know, we, well, first of all, that first day took me 10 to 12 hours. It took 10 to 12 hours in that office. And yes, I'm telling you because we had to deep clean, we had to gum contour, we had to do the root canal was the last. That I, I have four nerves in that root canal. I don't know how we did it. And we ended up covering it with resin because it had potential. That's what I'm telling you, those doctors are like the best thing that happened to me because at the end of the day, they knew that it had more potential. They were like, we're not gonna sit here and put a crown on it. No, we're gonna put resin as long as you keep good hygiene and you don't eat any bones or ice or anything that's gonna crack that tooth. You'll be fine, great. You know, I'll be back otherwise. Cleaning wasn't painful at all. And you know what? They only gave me a little bit of um, anesthesia because they had to gum contour do the gum contouring but when they were working on my teeth like making sure they were covering the cavities and shaving down like I wasn't on any anesthesia like it didn't even hurt like that and so you know I, you kind of start to get sensitive towards uh the end of the shaving process because you know you're getting you're getting a little lower than where it was but I do understand that it was also because I had a little cavity like and in the front teeth and so we covered that in the back as well but day two I tried them on, we cemented them down. It was just, that's it. There was like no way of going back. That's what we were done. And you know, I fell in love with them. I love them, but I kind of realized, and so did the doctor realize that when he was cementing them down the two front, um, I believe 11 and 21, it's just like, you know, it happens. It was just a little bit of space that was, that ended up like just creating. And it was a little bit of a space that I kind of didn't like. Tomorrow we're gonna fix this gap that you see right in the middle there because when he cemented them, they separated and he said that was his mistake, but they will fix it. I mean, he didn't say it like that because I don't want that gap. The end of the day, Dr. Montoya just had recommended like, okay, you know, let's take it off, tell the lab to, to bring it down a little bit more on the sides towards the center and 
cement them together. First of all, I had to remove the first two and removing those first two were like, how? Cause remember, they're kind of already sensitive due to the fact that we've already shaved them down, but they're not that sensitive, that's just me. My teeth are just sensitive period because of, I had that little cavity in the front and then it was covered. It was a process to take them down. We had to shave, we had to like, it was with this metal thing. It was a whole process. But finally, we got it off. We got that over with. And you know, I gave I give it to Dr. Uh, Valencia. He He was very patient. I mean, I was patient as well. I kind of gave it to myself because I had to mentally prepare myself before this whole procedure period. So I was kind of sitting there like, okay, I'm going to make sure that I don't sit here and like shake, move, cause him any like discomfort. So I kept my best and I just stood there and I, you know, I stood still and all. Um, after we removed them, I had to go back home for about like two to three, maybe four hours. That way they could do it, redo it in the lab. So I went home after I went to La Calenitas. La Calenitas is like a little uh, souvenir place where you can get like souvenirs for everybody. Like, oh my God, I have a whole little suitcase full of souvenirs that I haven't even like unwrapped. Cause they're wrapped like, like if I got a whole bunch of packages of something else, like seriously. After I came back home, they were ready. So then my driver was like, okay, let's head back. He was actually near. So he ended up picking us up, taking us back. You know, my driver did pick us up and take us back to every appointment. After, after we went back, we finally arrived back and I was able to put down, cement down the two front. <laughs> if you see me without the two front, it's hilarious. I could show you guys right here. So after we cemented the two front down, I felt like that's it, like a Barbie doll. I finally got what I wanted. I felt happy. It just took about three days to, you know, go through this whole entire process. The first day I just had arrived and, you know, we took it easy. We stayed home. We settled in that Airbnb day one, well, day two. But day one at the office was mainly just like shaving down, cleaning everything together, and gum contouring. If you want to bleach, it's normally done after you do your uh, veneers. But I didn't do that option. I don't want to bleach my gums because I kind of felt like they aren't noticeable. I am, I do have hyperpigmentated skin, but I feel like I'm already doing a lot, and my gums aren't bothering me. They weren't, they weren't bothering me. So, um. You know, my partner came and he actually got his teeth whitened and he got a deep clean. So, you know, here in the States, they charge a lot. And not only that, he has like work insurance and they charge a lot. So it was kind of like, why not? You know, uh, he mainly came for support, moral support. And he was kind of helping me. He was so, he was so attentive to how they were taking care of me. He asked every question I had to like, what are you doing next? What is involved? What do we got to do? How can I help? And he was just like very like, like he was already being taken care of as well. They were like, you want a blanket? You want to lay here? There's like a room where you can hang out, uh, the companion's room. And I'm over here like, uh, he ended up hanging out with the, the driver for a little bit. And so, you know, that's how you know that I was there for plenty hours for multiple days. Um, just get ready to be comfortable in that chair you know there was one day i came in like this nice long dress you know because you, you kind of go outside a little bit before you go in there if you got a later appointment if you were there all day the day before um so normally the process is done in two to three days the most for me it took three days and a half maybe because of the whole having to cement having to do that root canal that took hours i had four nerves and so you know i actually the the day that 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 fourth day is when i came to the office to see dr montoya and unfortunately we kept missing each other it was like i had to come in i had to do that i was doing content and ended up being that he had somewhere he had to uh, be and so i missed him so we just facetimed and he told me like you know i love your smile now everything's going great i'm so glad that you know we were able to fix that issue because 
you know, right before I even said it, he just saw it already. So it's kind of like, this is why I knew you knew, you know, like, like you guys know. Um, I need to do my nails. The office, just in general, makes you feel so welcomed. It's like they're so full of love and they make sure that they get the job done it's hurtful they're gonna make sure they're gonna ease your pain they're gonna be there for you they're like i'm sorry and like i'm here for you and like the nurses you know they're right by your side and it's just like this this comforting feeling like they accommodate you so well they won't lie to you and they're gonna tell you like you know you're doing great because this is something that is really tough when you put the little strings in your tooth it just like defines your gums a little better so when you do the 3d impressions it's like your gums are just like a little lifted like my sister just came in the car so she just finished a person that I understood, I acknowledged what they're saying at the moment, but I didn't jot everything down. Like, I'm sorry, I'm just like getting the process done. And you know, you're able to understand and comprehend, but you're not gonna sit here and take a notepad and just like every little detail, you know what I mean? You wanna know it more and just ask them for a little tour. But for me, it was amazing. They were really nice to me. They were sweethearts. I kind of, you know, out of generosity, I wanted to show them a little piece of uh, token of appreciation. And I, you know, gave them each one a little gift, especially uh, Dr. Francisco. Dr. Francisco is a coordinator at night and Dr. Diego is a coordinator in the morning. And so they're the ones who like, you know, sign off and, and make sure that the head doctor is aware of like what your teeth is going to look like what we're doing next and if that's just um you know included or what's not or what. but also i wanted to give a little shout out to paola she's dr mario montoya's assistant she is beautiful amazing i love her she is a sweetheart and she is from new york when i tell you we clicked and we were just talking and i was like this is it and this is my girl that's it like i i i love her to the office you're gonna be able to meet paola she's amazing she's gonna give you the little rundown of everything and prices and get over everything and how you want it to look and all that um with uh, the doctor and my jaw just you know, you see me in your house like you don't be seeing me suffering eating it's because you don't pay attention to me i do but it's okay you don't have to you don't just complain so i just I think you're I'm fine <laughs> Oh, you guys should bring your own blankets. It is freezing in there. I brought my own little fleece blanket because I had to buy one on the airport. The one that I bought with my uh, head pillow ended up staying at home. So I had to buy one at the airport and it was amazing, but they had blankets uh, as well. So you don't have to bring blankets. They have blankets. We're not in, in, in 2016, like the videos that I've watched in the beginning it's just stating bring a blanket it's freezing they have blankets i mean if you want to bring a blanket sure um like i said the pain level was just tolerated i can tolerate it you can tolerate it we, we're all able to do it but if you're sensitive they have anesthesia 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 uh you'll be fine extra small small medium and large basically there is one book bag a carry-on for small one book bag is for extra small carry-on for small medium is like a carry-on and a couple bags and then large is like a check-in a carry-on so there's different sisters plus premium small medium large so basically i don't think the seats are small medium large but i think they're economy economy is basically no room there's your bag you put your bag in between your seats sorry if i'm screaming you put your bag in between your seats and that's how you have to ride the whole way your hips are just tight you're just sitting there just scrunched up a little bit three seats sure before i left i kind of had an hamburguesa like it had uh, i think they call it here hawaiian hamburguesa like over there's just hamburguesa like that's how they make it it has chips it has pineapple fresh pineapple it has uh ground beef patty it has I believe ketchup and mayo, um, garlic sauce. Um, it's a whole thing that I, I just fell in love. I had to have it before I went on that flight. But regardless of the fact, if you're getting on Avianca, make sure you eat before you get on that flight because that flight is gonna be five hours and a half for the first round and then one hour and a half for the second round. And if you have to get on a third one, just like me, you're gonna be starving for eight hours. And at the end of the day, well, that was 10 hours when I had to take the third 
it's eight hours without it the third so if you're gonna have to take a flight more than five hours i recommend you guys to eat before and also if your flights at night eat before because you're gonna be hungry so at the end of the day pick the seats that are in plus and premium because you're not gonna have any leg room you're not gonna have any room for your luggages just send that shit to be checked in at the end of the day they're all gonna be there when you come off the plane and it's gonna follow you in that layover so you don't gotta carry it in and out or nothing connecting flights right on like i recommend for outfits are just dress comforting dress with uh tank tops or dresses you know little tiny crop tops with shorts if you want to wear shorts up to your knees do i recommend you to get porcelain veneers i would never recommend to anyone to get porcelain veneers to each as their own but do your research if you're going to get porcelain veneers i did my research and you know dr montoya i felt that i was going to be in and out of there quick best and most modern technology the staff is accommodating from the menu send them a message Dr. Montoya because he specializes in every little detail. He makes sure he does it with love. He's very genuine. The hospitality, you can tell it's immaculate. I love and love how they take care of you. They make sure that you're satisfied and accommodated. imperfections I have are just a little bit of crooked teeth you know they're the little wiggles from when you were younger and I just feel like you know my teeth decay after you smoke for a while but that doesn't hurt get your porcelain veneers and you'll continue to live your life and open doors to more opportunities and feel great to socialize because that's all I want to do you know they always make sure that you're happy satisfied like that's that's the they get the job done you know they make sure that you're well taken care of <laughs> <laughs> that's his billion dollar is my 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 i don't recommend anything to anyone but I recommend Dr. Montoya. If you're going to get porcelain veneers, I recommend him. I never recommend any cosmetic procedures. I'm not an expert. But what I do recommend is to floss two times a day at least, to brush your teeth two times a day at least, and to avoid carbonated drinks. If you guys drink a lot of sodas, if you guys drink a lot of coffee, ca caffeinated drinks, don't do it to yourselves. If you do, brush your teeth like 30 minutes later, you know, after wine, 40, 45 minutes to an hour later, like brush your teeth, floss. Why? Because at the end of the day, that all builds up and it builds up plaque. Luckily, I didn't have plaque. But to reveal the billion dollar smile by Dr. Mario Montoya, here it is. I don't know. I need to go for a second facial at this point. I have to get my mustache done. Look at him. Look at him.